Good Sunday morning. So today I'm working on Web Converger, my my business, my side business, and and uh, forgive me for steering from my usual Arch Linux content to Web Converger, but I have a dream and I want to stick to it. <laughs> forgive me for wanting to become self-sufficient, having my own business, and yeah, having an independent. Um, revenue and all the rest of it so web converger is my indie thing and it does bring in some money and i have customers in fact i have customers asking me uh for a solution that will work on the latest um seventh or maybe eighth generation of intel and annoyingly uh yeah every time intel releases a new generation there's lots of breakages um which basically requires a new Linux kernel because Linux has all the drivers to make the LAN and for the, the card work or the new a new Intel drivers needed for Xorg or something like that. So <clears throat> I need to um, and and a big big promise that I've given to my customers is that with Web Converger, um, I mean uh, people who have already got Web Converger installed maybe on older hardware is that is that when I ro roll out an update, uh, let's say the new Linux kernel, that it will be, you know, transparently migrate to that new Linux kernel without any issues. So now I have this unenviable task of, of making a smooth update. Let's be honest, if you've ever installed Debian or Ubuntu on your machine and you went from, and you, you started from like something maybe 10 years ago, like Lenny or Squeeze, and then you and then you went up like uh, what's the Ubuntu versions now? I don't know. But you know what you know what I mean? Like it gets to a point where um you need to reinstall just because the upgrade path is just kind of broken. <laughs> so, um so so for example, Web Converger started on um Debian six and I'm trying to get it up to Debian um uh, nine point one, I think, right now. So what six nine? That's like three major releases that I have um, that I've. Well, at least two major releases that I've guided uh, Web Converger from from a smooth upgrade. I'll, I don't know. I should I should possibly <laughs> burn a copy of the very first one and see if it does smooth the upgrade. Um, I mean, th this is a problem with Arch Linux. The whole rolling release thing. If you leave it for a long time, it becomes really difficult to update. And my, oh, sorry about this. My, I have a weird issue where my computer likes to go to sleep at 100%. It's got two batteries inside. So that's where I'm at on Sunday. Um, I'm struggling to find time to work on this during the day because I have a day job. And this is really stressing me out. I've got all sorts of problems here on my test machine here. Uh, syslog is broken, um, general CTL is broken, um, so I can't even debug what's even going wrong, and there's a fair few things. Okay, thanks for watching guys, and please give, give me some like and support, and um, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, just have some feels, thanks, bye.